Today we're talking about Target, the store. Kids watch. Moms talk. Mom cameras. Hey, this is our three-part series. Walmart versus Target versus Aldi's. And I'm here with Rachel, one of my good friends. Rachel, do you like Target? Well, we live in the land of Target. Target was invented here. Target, the first Target ever opened was right down the road from my house. It was? Well, it was just, yeah, right over really? by Harmar. Yep. It's, he- it's still headquartered here, I think. Yes, it's still headquartered here. Um, so, yes, Target, we live in the land of Target. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I think that the thing that Target has done incredibly well on is they have made their stores aesthetically pleasing yes thank you so there are i mean look up moms and target and you will see more (laughs) than you can ever look at that you can ever read that you can ever watch anything every person i think in the whole world probably realizes that moms love target and that do you ever think mom like it's a thing, like peanut butter jelly, it's yeah. moms, moms and Target. And Target. <gasps> Almost, right, oh. yeah. Where moms will just walk around Target because they need to get out of the house, you know? Like, this is a huge thing. This is this is kind of part of our mom culture, is to love Target. Um, but that's not necessarily why I like Target. And I think the reason that all of us like Target is because we go in there, it makes us, because of the colors, because of how they have it organized, yes. it makes us feel happy. It makes us feel like we've achieved something. It helps us to feel like our life is good somehow. How does a store make us feel that way? But for whatever reason, Target makes us feel that there's, way. There's geniuses working at Target, figuring yes. out to brainwash us exactly. and every baby shower you always have the target, target gift registry card. and the a target gift, gift card. card yep yep in the registry too yep um and so i mean target's just done a masterful job um and that's obviously what they get paid for um but i think that there wasn't always that time i remember i think it was in middle school or in high school where that was where i got my back to school clothes was that target or at least the shirts that i got and a sweatshirt that i got were from there and um i remember it the sweatshirt specifically did not last very long the the thread started unraveling there was definitely a time in middle school and high school where my friends and i were totally (laughs) anti-target i mean we would still buy our makeup and face care stuff at target but this was before super target so there wasn't it wasn't a grocery store but we would never buy clothes from target we would buy clothes in the clearance section somewhere in the mall or at a thrift store but you uh during you never buy clothes at target and that's one of the things that they recognized i've you know and they have improved significantly since then um i think a lot of people there are, there are several shirts that I've gotten from Target, just t-shirts. And it's so surprising to see how many other people have the same t-shirt or something in the same color, like in a different color, but that same style of t-shirt fr- that I know is from Target and that like everyone's wearing that shirt. They almost have like a line of clothes or designer lines of yeah, clothes. Yeah, they do have a few. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, and, you know, when you add in groceries and you make it a one-stop shop where mom can get moms can get diapers, kids' clothes, their own clothes, and groceries, I mean, yeah. I love Target so much. I'm a Target fan. I'm a Target groupie. I always go to my one in Fridley. I love everything that Rachel said, exact point on. I love the look of it. It's a clean look. I love the red. I love the yeah. logo. I love the Target dog. I go there and they have like the furniture. And right now they're doing that Magnolia, oh, Chip right. and Jane, Joanna Gaines. It's yeah. really nicely set up. The clothes are really nicely put together. And there's like the name brand or the designer under it. And I got my, I even get my clothes from there. And I'm really picky about my clothes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I get my baby stuff there. And I, and I do 90% of my grocery shopping there. Hmm. Um, so that's surprising because, you know, you made things expensive, but I think after shopping there a lot, I kind of know how to cheapen yeah. my budget or where to 
first of all, I have to make a lot of things from scratch. I'm not going to buy a lot of prepackaged food. So that helps with budgeting. I think the grocery store, Walmart and grocery and Target grocery stores are pretty comparable to each other. Right. So, so here's another thing. I why I love my Target is um, the people there. The people, most of the people there are very friendly. They say hi, how can I help you? Mm-hmm. And I love talking to all my cashiers. I know <laughs> many of them by name. Uh, so we have one. His name is Scott. He he works. He's a cashier. He loves to watch movies. He loves to. He he's trying to travel to like Europe in two years. So he's trying to really make an effort to go there. Uh, we're friends with uh, Jeannie. We call her Auntie Jeannie. I can't believe it. <laughs> she's an older lady, and I think she's like never been married, and she doesn't have children. Uh-huh. And so she, whenever we, when I bring my baby daughter, she's like, "There's Charity," and then I say to Charity, "There's Auntie Jeannie," and then so we've kind of striked off a relationship. And then um, this is kind of like a longer story, but one of the and it's it was kind of sad. So one of um, the t- the cashiers, her name is Philly. It's kind of a different name. She's Hmong, and I'm Hmong. And years ago, we struck up a conversation like, oh, you know, you're Hmong, I'm Hmong. And just uh, quickly got a uh, quick information on her and where she lives and her family dynamic. And she's kind of like my age, mid-30s. And she mentioned that she was never um, married or anything. And then, gosh, it's kind of personal. Maybe I shouldn't have said her name. Um, anyways, it doesn't matter. Year a couple like a year later, I noticed she was pregnant, and then um, either I kind of avoided her, her line, or we just never saw each other. And uh, but I kind of wanted to know too, like, hey, you're you have a baby now, but something kind of flagged me thinking that it might have been like an out of wedlock kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Anyways, just recently, like a month or two months ago, I was finally in her checkout. There wasn't anyone behind me. It was sort of like the right time and the right place. And I was like saying, hey, um, how are you? I think, th- how's your baby? I just said, hey, how's your baby? You know, because mm-hmm. I know that she was pregnant before. Right. And she says in a very somber voice, oh, you know, I'm, I'm so sad. My baby has left me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what do you mean? She says, my baby died. And then I grabbed her hand. I was close to being tears. And I said, tell me what happened. And she, and he's, she said, my baby, um, somebody, like a relative was, was, was watching my baby and he fell down some steps and, uh, and he left me and I was, and then I bawled out crying. I went around to the, the cash, the, the conveyor belt and I hugged her and I just apologized and, said oh sorry for, for her going through this then i told her too about how i lost my son in a very similar way that he fell and had head trauma uh, so it turns out her son was over a year old and that's you know wow. just over a year old and that's her first and only child wow. and she's you know mid-30s and and my heart was just so torn i was so 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 sad for her um and then i also asked I was trying to kind of pry the right question, but I said, oh, what about your husband or the baby's father? I said that. Mm-hmm. And then she says, oh, you know, he he's never been part of our lives. He wants nothing to do with us. Mm-hmm. So that got me even more sad. Yeah. Oh, and then I was walking away. My, my, my oldest boomer was, me, was with, with, with me. I was walking away. I was totally bald out crying. And then Boomer asked me what happened. And I was trying to jibber jabber to him what happened. <laughs> and then, um... And she was just on my mind so much. I texted the whole story to my sister. And then later on, I got, like, um, a little gift for her, like a little necklace with yeah. a mom and a child Aww, together. Sweet. But anyway, so that's my Target story, is that I, I really love Target, right? Not just for the shopping experiences, but I go there so much that I know many of my cashiers, and I know their story. So, um, that's that. And this sounds so tacky doing this, but I'm going to quickly flip to their 5% off discount. (laughs) I'm so sorry for doing this, but first of all, um, I don't do the Target red card. And I just quickly calculated because, I don't know, in a a given month, I can easily go maybe 200, no, excuse me, maybe $900 a month of grocery shopping. Um, And if I were to take advantage of their 5% Target gift card, no, excuse me, Target red card, it'll probably get me about $400 worth I would have saved. But anyways, I, I'm a dummy. I, I'm a dummy. I don't know why I don't do the Target red card, even though I should. Especially now that they have the debit. So I wasn't going to do the credit card because I don't want another 
credit and have to worry about paying off credit and all that stuff, but they got the they have a debit card now where it's connected with your bank account. And they started that about five, six years ago, and I haven't looked back since. <laughs> <laughs> so you do it. Yep. And I do Cartwheel and the Target app. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like an idiot. I don't know why I don't do all those things. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember when Cartwheel first came out, I was on it all the time. I was checking it because they had a kind of a schedule, like coupons, where every... Sunday new ones would come out and other ones would expire and I would check every Sunday night to figure out what I was going to go and buy that week at Target. So, yeah, Cartwheel was a big deal. So, Okay. Thank you, Rachel. (laughs) Ladies and non-ladies out there to anybody listening, what is your Target story? Do you like Target? Is Target part of your routine shopping trip? Do you feel like Target is pretentious? Because I've heard that from people too. Do you think Target is snooty? So let us know. And uh, this is Mom Gamers. Listen to us. Take us with you, with you on your smartphone. Listen to us on YouTube. And we're here every Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. Tell one friend about our channel. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.